Madagascar's President Mark Ravalo Manana has resigned, handling power to the military. But the military has appointed opposition leader Andrei Rajolina as president of a transitional government after weeks of violence drew protests by his followers. Yang Yan has the details. Tanks and scores of soldiers scudded the presidential palace on Tuesday. Weeks of opposition protests and turmoil on the Indian Ocean island have killed 135 people, crippled tourism, and scared foreign investors in the mining and oil exploration sectors. The country is like in a war now. This has never happened in Madagascar. The population is very anxious. On Monday, Madagascar's traditionally neutral army threw their weight behind opposition leader Raju Ilina and stormed the presidential palace in the heart of the capital. But President Ravalomanan was not in sight. The army also seized the central bank. Some residents support the army's move. There's a very big gap between the rich and the poor, and the government of Ravalomanan is not doing enough about it. That's the reason why people are protesting and the army is taking responsibility. The 59-year-old president is holed up in another presidential palace on the outskirts of the capital, with supporters forming a human shield on roads outside. 34-year-old opposition leader Raju Ilina has been calling for the president's resignation since the start of the 2009 and now wants him arrested. The opposition leader has tapped into widespread public discontent with high levels of poverty. Yang Yan, CCTV.